Hey folks, David Fine here from Keys Moths. Uh, today, I'm gonna be going over a topic that um, is, is a very depressing topic for, for, for anybody who has ever tried to keep or curate a butterfly or moth or any entomology collection, scientific collection. One of the biggest challenges you're gonna have is facing pests for your museum or for your collection. And it's a challenge, guys. And today I, I can tell you that I I am usually on top of keeping my specimens protected from pests, protected from things that are going to eat the specimens and, and destroy all your hard work and destroy the scientific uh, uh, specimen. Um, and I'm usually on top of it, but either by fumigating or pesticides or um, even putting display cases in the freezer from time to time to kill any pests that might be on it, okay? Uh, but in this case, guys, it happened on my mounting board. I had a cockroach eat one of my specimens. I just mounted it like a couple weeks ago. I have it in a, a place which is fairly sealed, at least like a box. I wanna show you, I'm gonna show you in a minute. And somehow a roach got in and ate the specimen. So it's a little just upsetting because I don't really kill a whole lot of specimens for the most part. Um, because I, it's, that's not really why I'm doing it. I, I like to have a few things to show of each species so that we can do some uh, scientific research. And in this case, we caught, um, if you remember back from the spring, we took a trip up to North Florida and in Ocala, we caught a big, large female carpenter worm moth and I mounted it. We made a video and everything on mounting that moth. But uh, guys, unfortunately, a, uh, a cockroach liked that specimen a little more than I did. So uh, I'm going to show you guys now what happened. So uh, guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come and grab my camera and I'm going to put the flash on because I'm going to show you what happened. All right, guys. So in this closet, I have all of my stuff here for collecting. And up in the top of my closet, I built a little cabinet and I have it for the most part, have it sealed with these rubber stoppers anywhere that a pest might get in. And as you can see, I've got, um, these places where these little drawers, I made them out of cardboard. It's not a big, it's not very elaborate. Uh, but I made, this is where I store my specimens. This is where, when they're on their mounting board, I'll put it in here. And I know that it's, for the most part, spec, uh, pest free. But in this case, guys, I forget which board it is. I think it might be this one. All right, let's see, is it this one? Yeah, it's that one. All right, guys, I'm gonna take this out. I'm gonna show it to you real quick. Close my cabinet door real quick. All right, so this is the um, carpenter worm moth. And yeah, guys, always label your specimens so you know when and where you caught them. And uh, Praeonoxistus robinie. And guys, this is a beautiful big moth. And they actually live for several years in the roots, the caterpillars do, in the roots and the bark of the host plants. So um, it's, a, it's a tough bug, man. It's, it's a really interesting bug. The males of this species are about, are less than half the size of the females. They're really tiny. They've got a yellow hind wing, which I don't have a male to show you, but um, I'm just going to take this lady off the board here, but this is the carpenter worm moth, guys, and it's a great specimen. The wings came out very nice. The antennae are mounted nice. Um, one of the things about the carpenter worm moths is when a caterpillar feeds mainly on wood or bark, 
a lot of times those specimens have a lot of oils and things like um, Sasead moths, like the wasp moths, they feed on roots, any root, root borer, they have a lot of oils. And a lot of times the specimens grease and we actually have to degrease de the specimen. Uh, but also those oils can actually be desirable for pests. And in this case, guys, unfortunately, look at the abdomen of this specimen. A cockroach got in, guys, and started eating the abdomen of my carpenter worm moth female. Now, this great big abdomen is full of eggs. Uh, unfortunately, um, this really, really stinks, guys. I'm, I'm, you have no idea how upsetting it is to have a specimen that you, you know, you work for, you go up, you go all the way up North Florida, you travel. Um, I don't bring a whole lot home with me. But in this case, I bring a carpenter worm moth home because I actually didn't have a decent uh, female in my collection. Put it, you mount it, you take really good care of it. Then before you can ev ever get it into your dis collection display case, a, a stinking roach finds it and makes short work of it. Now that I have my tripod, that's what tripods are for, guys. Tripods are there so that you can work with both hands and not um, have to hold your phone or your camera while you're working. You can actually record what the heck you're doing. And so I just have to learn that. I have to use my tools that we paid for. So as I take all of the um, paper off of my specimen. This guy has been in that box there for probably two months. I like to let my specimen sit for quite a while um, and dry. That protects them from, you know, from the wings curling and so on. But, okay guys, now um, this thing here, let me pull this out here for you. There it is, guys. Carpenter worm moth, big female. And unfortunately, she's got some damage there from these uh, stupid cockroaches, man. And we've got palmetto bugs, and they're, they're just, they're everywhere down here in South Florida. I don't know, people, people run from these things in Florida. But it's a cool moth specimen. Uh, nonetheless, I'm gonna keep her. Um, you know, it's always kind of interesting how small the head is. Look how small the head is on this specimen. It's massive thorax and even larger abdomen. But the head is this little tiny puny little nub there up on the front. And they got these great big antennae. And uh, it's a cool specimen. But unfortunately, it's got all this chew marks right here. So, guys, what you have to do, what I'm going to have to do, I'm going to fumigate my closet. Uh, to try and correct the problem. And they sell vapor tape strips that are pesticides and I, I can put a vapor tape inside of that box. It's been a year or so since I've put a new one in, so it's probably time to um, re-fumigate that box. So guys, unfortunately, this was a um, uh, an unfortunate episode where this beautiful specimen got destroyed by a museum pest. In this case, it's a cockroach. You know, a lot of times it's, it can be dermestid beetles. It could be uh, ants. It can be, I, I don't know. Guys, tell me about, comment down below. What museum pest do you hate the most? Which museum pest do you hate the most? Comment down below. Right now, I'm not a very big fan of roaches. So, uh, guys, give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, I'm still going to label, put my label. Labeling is very important. Um, I'm always going to get my label on. Okay, so I've got my label and I've got the English name, the sex, the, the Latin or scientific name. 
I determined it and I put where I caught it. It was at Golf Hammock in Levy County, Florida. And that was April 6, 2022. Uh, that's all on one label. Now this is a pretty big moth, so I, it all fits on one piece of cardstock. And it is handwritten. Um, I have a program where I make labels, but this, this here is a protom block. And the three holes represent the depth of the pin that you can stick inside of these holes. So when you stick the pin in this, this hole right here, the protom block stops the pin right there. And that's the one when you put it through the pin through the body, you put the body, you measure it and you stick it down this first hole and until you can't stick the pin in any further and it measures the body, keeps it uniformly at the same height on the pin. The second hole is for a, a label. And in fact, a lot of people put two labels on. That's what the third hole is for is the secondary label. But uh, I put all my information on one label. So I'm just going to stick this into uh, the hole until it doesn't go any further. And now I've got my specimen labeled. And labeling your specimen, specimens are very important, guys. And I hope you do so. But guys... Keep your specimens safe, keep those stupid roaches away, and all the museum bugs. Make sure you properly fumigate your collections. And so, uh, hope you liked the video. Give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Till next time, kill roaches! Take care now. Bye.